Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Kim Kalunian. The man accused of stabbing and killing his sister and critically injuring his mother will be held in jail without bond until his next court appearance. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez was inside the courtroom this morning with a breakdown of what happened. Alex. Kim, that suspect, Wesney Claire Stainville, pleaded not guilty to felony murder, assault, and disorderly, disorderly conduct charges after police say he attacked his own family. Felony assault on your mother. Wesney Claire Stainville appeared confused as the judge read him the charges accusing him of stabbing and killing his sister and critically injuring his mother. My client understands that we are pleading not guilty. The judge ordering a no contact order to further protect the mother, Regia Dupera, who is currently fighting for her life. The judge also asking for a competency evaluation before his next court appearance. So, sir, you will be held without bail. You'll be back before the court for a status in two weeks, January 11th. The arraignment took less than five minutes, but the impact will be felt forever as loved ones remember the life of 28 year old Daphne Claire Sainville. She had just graduated from CCRI this semester with her associate in business administration. The college sending their, quote, deepest sympathy to Daphne's family and friends. Neighbors remember Daphne as a hard worker as they try to come to grips with what happened. During the holidays, it's something like we shouldn't even experience something like this. It's, it's, it's too much. And in the next two hours, loved ones will be remembering the life of Daphne at a vigil. Reporting live in Providence, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. But first at six, the man accused of stabbing and killing his sister and critically injuring his mother pleaded not guilty in court today. I'm Kim Kalunian. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live now with what happened at his court appearance. Alex. Kim, that judge ordered the suspect Wesney Clersainville to be held in jail without bond after police say he attacked his own family. We are pleading not guilty. Wesney Clersainville appeared confused as the judge arraigned him with felony murder, assault, and disorderly conduct charges. So all three are domestic violence crimes. Providence police say Wesney stabbed and killed his younger sister, Daphne Clarsangville, at her home off Adelaide Avenue while she was getting ready to go to work. Their mother then came out to stop Wesney when court documents say Wesney stabbed her with the intent to murder. Neighbors calling 911 after hearing the commotion early Wednesday morning. My mom was screaming, help, help me, help me, and we came right out. Police arrested Wesney two hours later, just over a mile away at his home off Public Street. The mother, whom the judge identified as Regia Dupera, is still fighting for her life. The judge taking action to keep her safe. I will also order a domestic no contact order for the protection of your mother, Regia Dupera. The judge also ordering a competency evaluation before the suspect's net score appearance in two weeks on January 11th. And in the next hour, loved ones will actually honor the life of the victim, Daphne, at a vigil. Neighbors described her as a hard worker, and we learned that she had actually just recently graduated from CCRI this semester with her associates in business administration. The college saying that they send their deepest sympathy to Daphne's family and friends. Reporting live in Providence, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.